Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. It's Double Deuce back with an update with the Toyin L400. Um, we got the crank in it. Um, we did the mod. And I think I've come up with a solution. So stay tuned and here we go. It. Okay guys, so I did I put the crank in it. I found a cool way to put the crank in my last video there and uh, I put the set screw in it like they said snugged it down so it won't walk and I didn't tighten it too tight and I went to fire it off And guess what? Crank broke. As soon as it fired, and it bop, bop, snap, and it broke. But this time, instead of breaking at the front here, like all my other ones, it broke at the back. So that tells me this ain't working. Um, now, even at the front, you can see I have not too much tension on my belt, but there is a lot of strain up here on this um, front here of that crankshaft. You know besides all the you've got torsional flex and then we got the shock of the thing firing with no center bearing so I don't know but now I contacted Sterling kit and they Toyin wants me to send it back because they want to look at it to see what's wrong with it um, we've been talking about what's wrong with this engine for a long time and I think because like I say, you see this crankshaft doesn't even have hardly any fuel on it. it. It's still got the oil where I oiled it to start it. And everything was free and loose and everything. Because um, I didn't have the belt on it. I made sure that the set screw was not too tight. I made sure that it set, set in there and snugged it in so it wouldn't walk. Which was kind of hard because they don't give you no specific um, torque measurements, uh, anything. They just say drill a hole and put a set screw in it. This is a great engine on a computer but in real life it doesn't work i mean it's it's an awesome engine don't get me wrong i love these things i absolutely love them but uh you know until they figure out that you cannot have an end support on each end of a bearing with four cylinders in there i mean you can have here you know when the engine's small you got two cylinders and now the distance is not very wide but now you've got double the distance here and it's just too much flex on this thing and you got double the camshaft tension on the springs and you're running a water pump too on the front of this thing now if you look i did not over tighten it because the i just made it so the teeth will turn the cam and it's the fan slips a little bit and that's you do want that you want that fan to slip but sometimes it won't turn the water pump because the angle that this belt comes up here to like my pink screwdriver here the angle this belt comes up here is just i don't know it's just it needs to be like this water pump needs to be over here somewhere you know that way the belt can turn around it and it's only running on like one small section of the uh tooth on the water pump but if you had that belt turn around that tooth or made this tooth a little this gear a little bit bigger it would uh it would relieve a lot more stress on this because you've got to tighten this thing up as this slides back and forth you got to tighten this thing up tight so you can get the water pump to turn and sometimes when you do that your belt's way too tight so long story short i did what they wanted me to do um i think that they they're getting the ideas that we're not doing this correctly um so i don't think from what i heard um one of my subscribers there had posted a uh a letter from them or an email from them saying that they're not going to offer the assembly kit no more 
they're going to put them together themselves and test them. But this is still going to be a disaster because you can, if you're, I'm frustrated. I am super frustrated here because for one, this whole summer has been a debacle over this engine. Ever since this engine come out, it's been nothing but problems with the crankshaft in this thing. Um, I mean, even tunability is, it's, you can, you can get around that. Uh, the cam seems to be fine, but then again, we don't run these things long enough to see if the cam's going to last either because they break. Um, everything on this engine, other than the starter and the crankshaft and the water pump tension seems to be okay. If they would just address the crankshaft, center support bearing, um, very simple. You know, it can be added on, um, and you know, if they make an aluminum plate that goes up in there, where you can bolt it to the sides, okay, and have holes in it so it'll still get blow by back and forth, um, I think it'll be okay. Uh, one of my subscribers came up with a great idea of having a bronze bushing with a two-piece cap here around this, a couple of bolts, and have spaces, and have like a three piece bronze bushing in there so it collects the uh, the oil from the blow by. That's a great idea. Um, and if you would drill through the uh, the support plate you put in there so you know it'll have compression blowing the uh, you know the oil back and forth to still keep it well lubricated. Um, and he was talking about like the three piece bronze bushing with a uh, like a one millimeter clearance you know, or half millimeter clearance in the thing just to kind of support it a little bit. So I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Um, I don't know if it's worth sending it back. They, you know, they said to send it back and everything, but I feel this is going to keep going on and on and on and on. Um, you know, it was a, it was a gallon effort there, Toyin. You know, you guys, you created a, a great engine on CAD, but as far as real life, um, these things, you know, what what you're selling these engines for us to do is put them in an RC car, boat, or truck. Um, unfortunately, they're, they're not working. They're not working. So, I don't know what to do with the thing. Like I say, um, I don't know if I want to send it back. You know, because they're going to say, oh, this was wrong or that was wrong. You know, I mean, right now, the faith that I have and trust in that company has really gone down the toilet. Um, because they have ran from this problem and now they're, they're saying that they think it's the, the user error that we're not putting them together correctly. But if you try to read their directions, you know, if, you, if you've seen the directions of this, they're very vague. They just show pictures of putting stuff here and there. They give you no torque specs on this engine at all. Now, seriously, I have a quarter inch, um, you know, torque wrench. I could torque all this stuff if they would give me some numbers, but they don't because they're just, uh, just throw it together, it'll work fine. It works fine on the computer as it's animated, you know, but uh, I don't know. I mean, I contacted, you know, Mona at Sterling Kit and she was very, very helpful and very sympathetic to my cause because these crankshafts just come out of my pocket. $268 in two crankshafts and I couldn't even start the engine before it broke. So, you know, you tell me, is it, is it me? Is it, you know, like this engine right now, this is the, what, third or fourth crankshaft in this engine. Um, there's something wrong, you know. Now, like I say, I haven't ran my Skyline over there because that's got one of these in it too. And I don't want to blow the thing up. So now it's a shelf queen, you know. Um, so as you can see, I've been working on my, my Aussie V8 here. Um, you know, I'll put that together and right now, I mean, <laughs> Toyin owes a lot of customers something, I'll put it that way, because like you say, this is two, I have two of these that are useless. That's a lot of money, you know, they look pretty, but I could buy a model and put it together and put it on the shelf. You know, just because it's aluminum doesn't mean anything. And just because it may run or may not run doesn't mean anything. You want to, you, you know, you build a great product that you've spent a lot of time on this thing. You want it, you want it out there in the public running. 
you know you want it cranking you want this thing showing up all the other engines out there you know because when the biggest piece of crap engine I think that you know they have thrown out there was the Traxxas TRX 15 when this engine outperforms that engine come on you know and I'm still using these engines you know now on the early engines here not many problems with these there was a couple of timing issues I had with this um, and like I say there was not a bronze bushing in the uh, crankshaft and I put one in it but other than that this engine here not a bad engine you know single cylinder however when you look at the uh, the crankshaft difference there now you've got double the stress double all the problems so anywho that's my update I am super bummed over this, um, and you know, like I say, I still have faith in you know the engine and the company, but I think I think if I send it back and they they check it out and they rebuild it, they're not going to find anything more wrong with this thing than any other engine out there, other than the same torsional flex and the center bearing flex. That's the problem with this engine. There's it's nothing else wrong with it. Nobody put nothing together wrong. As you can see, everything turns fine here. Everything is free and loose. I'm not too tight up front. And the crank still broke. So I don't know. You know, and I mean, really? It's, uh, I'm just speechless over the whole thing because they're not going to do anything more with this engine than I can do with it or anybody else out there can do with it that has any machining capabilities. Um, like I say, the first thing I noticed on this engine, and everybody noticed when they were assembling it, there was no support in the center of this engine whatsoever. Now, my personal thoughts on this are, like I said before, a center support bearing. Okay? You have six millimeter journals here. I would come up with at least an eight millimeter journal. You know what I mean? A center support and eight millimeter journals that'll strengthen this crank way up big time even if you had to make another rod for it because I think there's room in there if you look for that rod you could you could make a bigger rod there and swing it around with an eight millimeter hole in it and uh, a bushing so anyways guys that's the update on that sorry for the rant there's no nothing good here um, I'm like I say I'm just speechless over the whole ideal and I mean you tell me should I send it back or not I mean yeah I think it's just buying more time for more failure um, yeah they'll get to look at the engine but they can look at it right here too and they can see that their fix which we which we predicted was not going to work made the problem worse I think that now it stressed that bearing in the front and I think it locked it right up and it broke that's what I think even though I didn't tighten it that much that bearing must need a little room to walk up front there to keep it all free because you're turning it back here to start it right here so what's going to happen as it gets more and more bound up towards the front it's going to break in the middle that's what's going to happen and that right there I say if you were going to you know if you want this thing to keep from moving back and forth and everything I would actually put a main cap up here there's room for it you know design it on your cad with a new main cap and and center support bearing because it's just uh i mean this thing has to be machined okay why can't they just machine half this way and half that way and just add a couple of more steps here in the center and make a a support bearing that's that's made right in the block itself that's my that's my thoughts on it i think that right there would cure a lot of the the flex in the crankshaft um, I mean this is not only me everybody's having this problem so that tells me it's a product so anyways guys I'm gonna go back to playing with junk and uh, get my back on my v8 here I got my uh, I got my new heads coming hopefully this week so I'll be making some headway on this um, like I say these heads here were um, these are display only. Don't don't buy the display heads and try to do something with them because they're they they won't work. You know, for one, there's no, um, you know, 
there's not enough there's too many tolerances they leak you know or it's just a they're a display only and he advertises them as a display only and uh so the billet heads coming should be ready to bolt on so i'll have a good compression in the engine and we'll be firing that up soon um and one other thing i wanted to add was i got my my voltage step downs uh, these are a lot bigger than the ones that i ordered last time that's the thing when you buy on ebay you think you're buying the same product and they send you different stuff um these will take in i think 40 volts and you can put out the other side i think 37 and down you know a little adjustment screw right there when you plug it in i'll show you what happens real quick because i think i think i like these even though they're a little big uh, when you plug this in it gives you the 1.5 coming out now when you push this button it shows that the 8.3 is coming in now these ones are my old ones now this one here is the new style they sent me it's a little bigger as you can see just a hair you got a one button on the thing 8.3 coming in 1.5 going out so you got to re you got to reset these every time you when you plug them in if you want to see your out voltage because if not it'll always go to the input voltage but so basically now i run all my hots to my glow plugs and then i'll put some shrink wrap around these and i should be fine i'll probably put a little bit of touch of uh hot glue on the screw once i because you can set them real simple by turning the screw in and out say one four and it goes all the way up to like eight volts so you can very simple you can watch exactly what's coming out the other side you don't have to have a, a voltmeter you know and the thing is too once you put your your uh, glow plug wire on there you do have a voltage drop in that you can adjust it here at a 1.6 or 1.7 to get your 1.5 at the end of the wire over there if you want to test it so anyhow so that's for my v8 and i'll be hooking that up to the distributor later so all right you guys have a good one that was my update on the toyin and uh i'll catch you later like share subscribe if you want and have a good one